So I'm doing something a little bit different this semester. I'm always looking for different ways to uh, kind of describe what we do here in Introduction to um, Astronomy. So here is one of the telescopes that I get out for, um, for the labs that I host. So actually it is a telescope owned by the school and it is, can you see down there? It's a, it's a <laughs> the type of telescope is a reflecting telescope. There's a mirror down there. And as you've read or will read, um, reflecting telescopes come in kind of some different versions. This actually is a Cassegrain type. And I'll kind of go over here. There's a, that mirror that we just saw is, is back here at the back. And um, notice the Cassegrain um, reflecting telescope. What it does is it has a secondary mirror. I call it the belly button right here. Underneath this is actually a secondary mirror that takes the light goes down there um, to the mirror, it comes up here to this belly button, then it goes back down through the tube, and the focal point is just kind of on the other side of this, um, what we call um, the eyepiece. So right here, you can see um, I've got an eyepiece in there. Notice the one thing about eyepieces is they have a, uh, um, they have a number on them, and that number is important, it is the, um, the focal length of that eyepiece. And I don't think I've got it. If I turn it, you're gonna see it's 26 millimeters. Okay, so I can swap those eyepieces out. And um, so most uh, telescopes then have like a handy tray. You kind of see the tray underneath there. So for a given night, if you see me swapping out eyepieces, I'm kind of grabbing them down there. And when I swap out the eyepiece, then I get a different magnification. So magnification actually is a little ratio problem. Remember, I'm not gonna ask you to to do any uh, calculations in this class, but uh, magnification is um, the, the focal length of the telescope, which is set, divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. So since the focal length of the eyepiece is in the denominator, as that number gets larger, magnification decreases. So I've got a 26 in there, which is kind of a nice one to kind of f generally find things in. Down here in the tray, I've got a 40 millimeter and I think a, a 12.5. So I guess one other thing, or another thing I will pick on with this telescope is telescopes generally have a spotting scope. So outside the tube, you see this telescope, it's like a, oh, it's a, how do I say, there's not much magnification to it. But it spots, it has a wide field of view, and basically before I started, I made sure that this um, spotter scope agreed with what was in the telescope. Okay, so that's, that's kind of how that works different types of spotting telescopes. I'll kind of have it make noise. As you know, we're, we're inside right now, inside the chemistry lab actually. Um, so I can't see any stars, but this is kind of fun. You'll see me um, on a given night. I love the sound. Oops, is it, oh, it turned off on me. Can you hear that? Can you see it moving? Okay, I'm just kind of randomly going back and forth. But it's, um, this telescope is plugged in, it's got a power supply. And after I calibrate it, I can actually put in this little pad what I wanna to go to, whether that's a planet or a deep space object like the Messier objects are, are nice and handy in there. One of the things that um, I've kind of just learned recently, or it made more sense to me recently, is the computer that kind of tells us, tells that uh, computer, excuse me, that, that uh, telescope where to go, actually is right here. That's the brains of it right here. And then of course that computer is on a mount. This sort of mount is called an, an alt azimuth and it's, it's kind of handy. It's got a, like a sort of kind of fork thing going and kind of the, you know, it's a nice telescope. Um, we talk about telescopes as either using a mirror like this one, and then if it uses a mirror or if it uses the other type of telescope that uses lenses, we say how big the diameter of the mirror is. And this one is an um, eight inches diameter. And I tell students that if you are, um, you know, thinking about getting a telescope yourself, uh, my pitch is to, you know, the whole computer thing is nice, but oftentimes when you pay for the kind of go-to or the computer part of it, then you lose it um, in optics. So I think that's all I kind of want to show you about that telescope.